hunger strike is no new phenomenon in non-violent political resistance. Was Veeravansu's hunger game successful? Find out on News Matters. A hunger strike is the ultimate political weapon for any activist in the democratic political stream. There are many activists across the world who've used this weapon effectively to resist oppression and achieve desired goals. Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela and Bhagat Singh each resorted to this weapon in their freedom struggles. But there is a man in Sri Lanka who has made a mockery of this entire process. He is none other than the United People's Freedom Alliance parliamentarian Vimal Veeravansa, currently languishing in remand for misusing state vehicles by distributing them among his family, friends and political supporters during the last regime. Veeravansa last week launched a hunger strike in protest of the High Court's decision to reject his bail application. But Veeravansa is no stranger to hunger games and campaigns that proclaim his intention to fast unto death. In 2010, Veeravansa launched the infamous Fast Unto Death campaign against the UN Advisory Panel on Sri Lanka, appointed by the then Secretary General Ban Ki Moon. Although Veeravansa made much ado about his hunger strike and even pledged to sacrifice his life against Ban Ki Moon's panel, he later gave up his strike when former President Mahinda Rajapaksa offered him a glass of orange juice, making a mockery of his own and all other Fast Unto Death campaigns. His hunger strike made zero impact on the UN and Ban Ki-moon. The advisory panel continued its work regardless of Veeramansa's diet and the only thing Veeramansa succeeded at doing was making himself and Sri Lankan parliamentarians in general the laughing stock of the world. This second episode of Veeramansa's Hunger Games is no different. He launched his fast unto death campaign against a decision by the High Court. The judiciary cannot reverse its verdict based on hunger strikes and other forms of melodrama and civil disobedience. The judiciary needs sound arguments and reasoning. In effect, by throwing what can only be described as a tantrum, Veeravansa is attempting to emotionally manipulate the judiciary. A day after he launched the strike, his lawyers filed a fresh application for bail before the Colombo Fort Magistrate, seeking bail based on his daughter's ill health. His lawyers urged the magistrate to grant Veeravansa bail under any condition as his 16-year-old daughter was under severe mental duress. Quite obviously, Veeravansa is not the only imprisoned father whose children are under great mental duress and other trauma. It is highly doubtful the judiciary will consider it a valid reason to grant him bail on an unbailable offence such as the misappropriation of public property. Veeravansa ended his hunger strike on Sunday when prison officials transferred him to the prison hospital. The prison hospital is notorious for housing many other high-profile suspects and convicts held for various offences. The difference with the others was that they got in quietly. Veeravansa, with his pension for drama, went in publicly. What remains to be seen is what reception he will receive at the hands of the other high-profile inmates for bringing to scrutiny their escape route from the rigours of prison. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Friday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.